Hi, I'm Meg Johnson, and today I'm going to be reading two poems that will be in my book that's coming out this spring from the National Poetry Review Press. The Unfortunate Charisma It's like a locket, but also like Penny's computer book from Inspector Gadget. Under tights, under lace. It's like a pre-adolescent wearing tight jeans saying, I'm a Samantha. It's like missing a credit card payment, fists for ovaries. I'll admit I've been swayed by a sparkling spoon. It's watching a friend being taken away in a car. Giddily, he waves to you from the passenger seat. You stand on the corner, the driver not offering you a ride. The name of my imaginary band is Kill the Colony. It's like a pregnancy dream with no men. Like an oh no she didn't letter to the editor. Strangers wave, they say great letter. My father as a young boy carves born to be wild on the boards of the corn crib. He didn't have to tell me this. I can feel my DNA like a razor. I should be in jail. I wish I was in jail because then I would be given three free meals a day and time to read the books I really want to read and time to get really buff. No one would pressure me to renew an apartment lease 11 months in advance. I have no qualms about the uniform. My high school colors were orange and black, which I rocked, especially as a baton twirler. I've always been complimented on my license and ID photos, so pulling off a good mugshot would be a snap. I've also been wondering if I should have experimented with being a lesbian by now, and prison would give me plenty of time to explore whether I'm bisexual. Anyway, I just thought I'd let you know it's new with me now that we're dating again. You can pretend to be turned off by the idea of conjugal visits, but you won't be fooling anyone. I'm sure you could help me find a good crime to commit.